Hi everyone, I'm Sugarberry, and today I'm going to show you the four toys that started my entire vintage toy collection. So, the four toys that started my whole vintage toy collection. I'm excited to show you. Um, I think I'm going to start from number four and work my way down to number one, the first one that I ever purchased. Um, so the fourth one that I ever purchased for my vintage toy collection was Bow Tie. Bow Tie is a G1 My Little Pony from the 80s. She is from the year 1983, which was considered year two of the uh, My Little Pony G1 series. Um, <clears throat> so she's considered an Earth Pony. And if you don't know anything about um, My Little Pony, Earth Ponies are ponies that don't have many gimmicks, I guess you could say. They don't have wings, they don't have horns, they don't have um, sparkly eyes or, or anything extra about them. They're as close to normal horses as you can get in the My Little Pony world. So like I said, she was released in 1983 um, and then she was re-released in 1984 um, with curly hair. So this would be the, net, the year two version, so 1983. And then she was released again in year three which was 1984 uh, with curly hair um, and this one has straight hair as you can see. So she's got really cute um, bow tie cutie mark. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six bow ties. Really light pink color. <clears throat> Her body is this nice light blue. I've actually seen variations of her with more of a, like a darker blue, um, but this is really pretty. And she's got freckles and purple eyes. And her hooves say 1983 Hasbro, Hong Kong. Um, most ponies were produced in Hong Kong. Um, there are some variations from other countries, but this is the standard, I guess you would say. Uh, she originally came with a few accessories. <clears throat> she came with a yellow flower brush and a yellow ribbon for her tail. Um, I don't have those, obviously. And Bowtie's character. So there was a My Little Pony TV series in the 80s. I think it aired 1986 to 87. And she was in the show, and her character was that, um, the aspect of her character was that she really loved ribbons of all kinds and all colors, and she loved to braid her hair with them and make herself pretty. Um, but you can see she's in okay shape. She's got a pen mark here. She's got, her eyes are in pretty good condition. Um, the only issue, the biggest issue, is these uh, brownish yellow marks. You can see them all over her rear end here. Um, those are what's considered pony cancer. Um, and it's basically just the breakdown of the plastic. Um, that happens a lot. Not much you can do about it, really, um, that I'm aware of. She does have some... Um, initials on her feet, as you can see here, VH. So some child put her initials, his or her initials on her. And that's okay, I don't mind. I don't expect perfection in my ponies. I think she still displays really nicely. Um, yeah, I'm not picky about that. Okay, toy number three, the third toy that I purchased to start my entire vintage toy collection was Applejack. An Applejack. So I bought her the same time as I bought Bowtie. They came together from the same eBay, eBay seller. Um, 
So she's very similar to Bowtie, actually. They come in the exact same pose, which I believe is actually called the Bowtie Pose. Um, <clears throat> she was released in the same year, so year two, which was 1983. And then as same as Bowtie, she was re-released in uh, year three, which is 1984, with curly hair. She originally came with a blue flower comb and a blue uh, tail ribbon. Uh, you can see her cutie marks are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so <laughs> I can count. Uh, seven apples. And she's got this really nice orange body. I really like this color combination. Orange body, yellow hair. Her hair is in great shape. I don't see a lot wrong with her body. Um, there's a few pen marks, like right here. There is a pen mark. She's got really cute freckles. I just love the ponies with the freckles. Her, her eyes are in great condition. There is a bit of paint rub on this eye. A little white spot there. Um, yeah, a few paint marks. She's a little dirty. I did kind of clean her up when I first got her, but I clearly did not do a very good job. There are a lot of variants of Applejack. She's a very popular pony. Um, there's different versions of her in the different generations. So this is generation one, there's generation two, three, four, and five, as far as I know. Um, yeah, so there's different versions. There's also different variants of her from different countries. Same as Bowtie, there's a lot of different variants. She did make uh, an appearance in the 1986 My Little Pony cartoon as well, same as Bowtie. Um, and her character was more about, well, apples, as you can see. She, um, she liked to grow apples on her own apple trees in her garden. And she loves to eat them. She loves to eat the apples herself. Okay. So we've seen Bowtie and Applejack, toy number four and toy number three. Toy number two that I purchased to start my entoy, entire vintage toy collection was... I'm excited about this one. I really like these toys. This is made in fair hair. And she comes from a toy line called Lady Lovely Locks. And so Lady Lovely Locks was also a, a cartoon TV show that came out in the 80s. And there was a toy line, toy line that went along with it. Um, <clears throat> so the show is called, and the toy line is called Lady Lovely Locks. But this is made in Fair Hair, who is the best friend of Lady Lovely Locks. So Lady Lovely Locks is the princess of this kingdom and she's protecting her kingdom and this is her best friend who helps her, basically. And so <clears throat> they've got these really cute faces. She's got purple eyes, blue eyeshadow. Their hair is really thick, really luscious. That's what I loved about these toys. She's got this nice light brown color. And they have these pretty dresses. All of them have really pretty dresses. This one's got this blue iridescent material. You can see with the lace. She's just beautiful. Some ribbons, and she even came with shoes. That's not always easy to find those shoes for, for Lady Lovely Locks. Um, you can see here, She's got one of these little pink tabs on her dress. There should be a blue one on this side, so that's missing. Um, and that's a real telltale sign. If you're looking through vintage doll clothing and you see these little tabs on anything, pretty much guaranteed it's from the Lady Lovely Locks toy line. <clears throat> so yeah, she's in pretty good shape. <clears throat> um, a common issue with these toys is their legs get these white marks, um, but this one doesn't have that, so I'm pretty happy about that. 
And another telltale sign that this is a Lady Lovely Lux is on her back. It says 1986, those characters from Cleveland, Inc. Or sometimes you'll see TCFC. Um, yeah. You see that on the Lady Lovely Lux dolls. Yeah, she's just beautiful. Her dress is in great shape. So the TV series actually didn't last that long. I think there was maybe 20 episodes. But I remember when I was a kid, I really loved it. <laughs> I just loved the storyline. And I think one of the reasons it was so popular with little girls is because these dolls came with what was called, these dolls came with what was called pixie tails. And they were little animals about this big that had long, colorful, brushable tails. And you could clip them to the doll's hair. And you could clip them into your own hair. Just, I mean, kids love that. <laughs> um, the Lady Lovely Lux toy series had three waves. Um, I don't remember what year the first the waves were from exactly. I'm gonna have to look that up, but she is from wave one, along with Lady Lovely Locks and a couple other characters, which I'm hoping to get someday, but I got her from a seller on Facebook Marketplace for a really great, great price. Um, this was her toy when she was a little girl and she had kept it all those years and decided to sell it. And I was like, me, please. This is an example of a pixie tail. It's a little rabbit with a pinkish orangey colored tail. And it's got a little clip. You can clip it right into her hair, just like that. Or the reason these dolls have these little tabs is you can click You can clip the pixie tails right onto them like that. Or you could clip it into your own hair. Like that. So when I bought this, I also got this other dress with it. And this is a dress from the same wave, another doll from the same wave. Um, <clears throat> her name is Maiden Curly Crown, and she's got this bright red curly hair, and she came with this yellow dress. Really pretty, same material, it's got that iridescent quality, it's got the ribbons at the front, and you can see this one has two of those tabs for the pixie tails to clip onto. And the backs always have these snaps really pretty lace. There's some stray hairs. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to trim those, but yeah, she's in pretty good condition. So, so this dress belongs to Maiden Curly Crown, who is a red haired friend of Lady Lovely Locks and also a friend of Maiden Fair Hair. So the three of them were best friends, basically. Okay, you guys, for the grand finale, the first toy I ever purchased to begin my vintage toy collection. A um, little bit of a backstory. When I first started toy collecting, I only wanted to collect G1 My, My Little Pony, um, but then I branched out into a couple other things. Um, so, and the reason I, I really wanted My Little Pony was when I was a kid, I only had one. I think it was Princess Serena, uh, the green princess pony. Um, but I remember going over to my friend's house from school for a birthday party or something, and she had a really cute display of little My Little Ponies um, in her bedroom. And I remember specifically seeing little baby 
yellow ponies and I thought they were so cute. I don't know what it is about yellow. So that's a hint. My first pony was yellow. So I saw this one online and I was like, I must have it. And that's really the only reason why I picked this pony. I just knew I wanted to start collecting. So the first pony that I purchased was Baby Bouncy. So Baby Bouncy is also a G1, My Little Pony. She is, she was released year five, which is 1986. And she's from the first Tooth Pony series. And the reason they're called that is they're actually babies. You can see they're smaller than an adult pony. <clears throat> and they have little teeth. Each, they each have a little tooth. And she came with a number of accessories, baby accessories, toys, a toothbrush, um, a, a sippy cup, um, diapers, and I think it was a duck-shaped comb that she came with. She's got this bright yellow body, beautiful blue hair. Her hair looks a little bit darker on camera. It's actually a little bit lighter. Um, a bouncy ball cutie mark. And she's considered a Pegasus because she has wings. Ugh, so cute. I really love the ponies with the wings. I think they're so adorable. She's in really good shape. Nineteen eighty-seven Hasbro, Hong Kong. Her eyes are great. She barely has any flaws on her. Her hair is a little bit frayed. Um, I did try to style it a little bit when I first got it, but I haven't done anything with it since. So I do want to try a couple of techniques to fix the hair a little bit. A little bit of dirt on the hooves, but. I mean, other than that, she's in fantastic shape. Yeah, she was also in the original My Little Pony series in the 1980s. I don't know much about her character, um, but I know she was on it. Can't say much more than that. Yeah, baby bouncy, really cute. So these were the first three ponies. I ever got. Oh, and I forgot to mention she came from an independent seller on Facebook Marketplace as well. Uh, that's where I found her. I only bought her by herself. I didn't buy more than one pony at the very beginning. I used to just buy one at a time. And since then I've learned it's better to try to buy more than one at once to save a little bit of money on the shipping. Lessons learned. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little trip back to uh, my childhood, back to the 80s. Thank you so much for watching and see you again. Bye!